So let's look at different examples, right? And we kind of discussed this already. But let's look first at this first part. So let's expand both of these. And I'll do this first one in red. For this one, we have a negative 4 that's being multiplied by a negative 4. And we know that specifically because of the parentheses. Since there are two negatives, the answer for this one would be 16. For this one right here, it's a little bit different because there are no parentheses. In other words, let me show you what we would have. This one right here gives us a negative 4 times 4. Some of you may prefer to see that in parentheses like this. But whether you do or not, it's not necessary. So it's just important for you guys to remember that if there's no parentheses and we have a negative in the base, that means we only have one negative. So the answer for this one actually is a negative 16. Then let's look at that second example. Again, for both of these, it's important to remember how many negatives we're dealing with. So if I expand this first one with the parentheses, I have negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. Here we have an odd number of negatives, so we know the answer is negative. And 4 times 4 times 4 would give us 64. On the other hand, this negative 4 to the power of 3 is and has only one negative. So the answer is a negative, because 1 is still odd, and it's still negative 64. It is crucial that you understand the difference between these two. This one has one negative, this one has three negatives. Again, it has to do with those parentheses, which are extremely important as you guys calculate these, and as you guys answer questions on the test.